What's up everybody, Thomas here coming at you with another video. So, you want to make a slappy curve. Well, this is what a finished slappy curve looks like after you've made one. So in this video, I kind of just want to, you know, give some tips, pointers, and like what's really involved when you're creating a slappy curve. One, you're going to need concrete. This curve right here took about three bags of concrete. Um, so yeah, you got to factor that in. On top of that, you're going to need some wood so you can build yourself a form. And then, so you're going to need tools for cutting wood. Uh, you're going to have to buy wood or find wood or source wood. You're also going to need screws or nails to put the thing together. So like that on itself, building a form is, uh, you know, that's a whole thing on its own. And then, uh, you know, mixing the concrete and pouring it in there, that's a whole ordeal also. And then not to include all the additional stuff you're going to need. Like, you won't need a mixing thing like this, but you're going to have to mix your concrete somewhere. Um, also, you're going to need shovels and hose and buckets and all that stuff. Um, you know, just to get going, unless you want to be gangster and do that shit with your hands. I don't know. Some... Some of y'all on the internet are on some other level type shit. So on top of that is the practicality of a slappy curb. So the first one I made, I installed at the skate park. And uh, my opinions on it right now, I mean, it's been pretty fun. But what I've been finding is that it's almost, if almost it's like it's not heavy enough. So when you try to slap, it kind of like moves. So it'll, it'll move on the, on the concrete over there and it doesn't sit there. So it's almost like if you're going to make a slappy curb... You need to find a place where, like, say, my skate park, I can install it permanently. So it's, like, sitting there in the middle of the park, and that's where I put it, and that's where it stayed. Ideally, you would want to install this somewhere permanently, like with mortar or something. That way it doesn't move. So that's what you're looking at. If you're making a slappy curb, you're essentially making it so where you can put it somewhere permanently. Because on top of that, I mean, these things are fucking heavy, dude. This is, like... That's like, you know, a bag of concrete is what, 80 pounds, three bags? Do the math. Fucking heavy. So it's, it's kind of cumbersome. You're going to have to have two people. I use the hand truck. So it's, it is not easy to um, transport or to put places. So those are things you kind of want to think about when you're like, man, I want to go make a slappy curb because where I live, the curbs suck. And all these videos I'm watching, these dudes have these bomb ass curbs to skate. So yeah, it's a good idea, but once you get into like making the form, pouring the concrete, and essentially scoping out a place to put this thing, um, there's I want to say there's other things you can do with your time. For instance, uh, if you're gonna you know build one, if you have a place to like install it, put it, your driveway, whatever, that's cool. But if you're gonna be like you know a uh, like a, a skate gorilla out in the out in the wild, like trying to find places to skate or making your own skate spot, I would almost recommend um, just investing in maybe a good uh, rub brick, um, some lacquer, some wax, because I mean the amount of time you're gonna spend, you know, building a slappy curb and getting it seasoned or whatever, you could have just done that with a curb somewhere and probably made it just as good. So that's the one thing I haven't I, I haven't seen in the videos, right? Everyone's making these slappy curves DIY and they're putting them in the front of their house or whatever and they're having a good time and they're slapping curbs everywhere. But like what they don't tell you is like, dude, it's a pain in the ass to get around. It costs money, it takes a little bit of skills, and um, you know, it's just um ideally with your money and time, you could just go, you know, prep a curb up. Or you can, um, what I've been also looking at is the um, the Keen Ramp slap pad. And the slap pad actually seems to be more practical because, I mean, you can make it the same size. And since it's made out of wood, I mean, I haven't skated a slap pad, so I can't personally say, like, if it's just as good as a slappy curb. But that thing has multi-uses, right? It's like, a, it's like a mani pad. It has, like, a slappy thing on one end and a ledge on the other end. And that thing's made out of wood, so it's actually cheaper, and you could just throw that in the back of your truck or something, and that's probably easier to get transported around. So, that's what I kind of wanted to address with this video. Like, man, making a slappy curb is awesome, good experience on learning, but I will say, um, it's going to take some work, guys. It's not just like creating a, a, you know, pouring some concrete, and now you have this awesome-ass thing to skate 
wherever you want to skate it unless you know unless you have a space available so was this a good project yeah man this was fun it was fun learning how to pour concrete and do rebar i don't know this one i've been i've been massaging this one a little bit better uh, i've been taking the rub brick and rounding the edges because i will say when you pour this out the bat it comes with a nice like you know a nice crisp edge and uh skating that is kind of a pain in the ass like you're gonna want to round this off so i mean the work it's been taken to uh take a rub brick here and round this off man it takes time it takes work it takes elbow grease to get this thing perfectly and like i said you can probably go put that work on a curb somewhere in a parking lot that's like empty and you know you could essentially probably have the same the same thing for uh you know cheaper and less effort well guys i just wanted to make a quick video on you know the dark side of slappy curbs um the one i haven't installed in the park it's doing all right um now that i've been skating a little bit more the edges are starting to get and broke down and rounded off and it's getting easier to grind so if you're going to pour yours off the bat make sure you have a rub brick or something so when you take it out you can you can round these edges up because you're definitely going to want to do that round these edges up well guys that's pretty much all i have for today thank you for watching peace